Yeah, so I'm here with the Golden Ear T66 speaker. And the big question that was on everybody's mind that knew this speaker was coming out, it is here to kind of replace the Triton 1.R. Is it a formidable opponent or replacement to the 1.R? Well, hey YouTube, it is the Audi Olympian back with another video. And today I'm coming to you guys from the arena, the battleground video today, as you probably guessed from the thumbnail, I got in the magnificent Golden Ear T66 speakers. So we're gonna be talking about that and a little in comparison to the Triton 1.Rs. So stick around, we'll get into that video in a second. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I wanna welcome you, thanks for stopping by. If you get any entertainment or even a slightest little bit of information out of this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Okay, big shout out to my local Golden Ear dealer who is called The Listening Room, AKA The Hi-Fi Shop. And they have allowed me to take these home for the weekend so I could try them out. I've been a long time customer of theirs. They're fantastic people and um, I can't thank them enough for allowing me to take these home, test them out, and kind of compare them to the Triton 1.Rs. Now the reason I'm comparing them is because I believe that's what they are going to uh, replace, the Triton 1.Rs. However, the interesting thing about it is the design of the T66 is a little bit more along the lines of the Triton 2 Plus. As you can see, it is a much smaller speaker in terms of cabinet design and speaker size. Whereas the Triton 1.Rs have a five and a quarter inch driver, whereas the T66 have a four and a half inch driver. Both with the same size tweeter, both have the same size uh, five by nine base sub drivers. Now in that section there, the Triton 1.Rs do have three of the five by nine uh, drivers there for the base section and the T66 only have two. Also on the passive radiator section, the Triton 1.Rs have four passive radiators and the T66 has two. So an all around bigger speaker for the Triton 1.R. Now one area, uh, I guess if you would consider externally here on the cabinet is the T66 are now bi-wireable, meaning it has four speaker binding posts in the back, where the Triton 1.Rs only have two. And for me, that was always something that I wondered about that. As far as a, uh, a prestigious speaker, like the Triton reference speakers, uh, why they only had a single binding post. Whereas even definitive speakers, years ago when Sandy Gross was with that company, uh, many of those had bi-wiring uh, binding posts as well. So four binding posts so you could bi-wire the speaker in the back of the cabinet. Most speakers that are in the price range of the Triton 1.Rs and the Triton Reference also come bi-wireable. So I guess I wasn't the only one thinking that. Uh, Audio Quest here with the new T66 and the Golden Ear speaker uh, upgraded that as well. Okay, now let's talk about the look of the speaker, which I really like and enjoy. Comes with the mesh grill that is very similar to the mesh grills that are on the uh, XXL subwoofer and the XL subwoofer. I really, really like that look on those subwoofers here, the Golden Ear subwoofers, because it just put it in a different category and gave it a completely unique look, um, a, aside from any other speaker that is out there. So I'm a huge fan of those speakers, uh, those subwoofers, not to mention they punch and hit like a cannon. And that's important for subwoofers. And I like subs. The T66 here, it was said to be in a red. So if you look at it though, it comes out a little more burgundy or what I would consider more of a wine color with a little bit of a champagne shimmer to it or it's actually got like a metallic type of texture in there so when you get close you can kind of see that shiny a uh, little bit of a metallic glow that's inside of this i really like that and enjoy it it's very 
similar or reminiscent to me of like a show car's paint job. It has just that nice metallic look that I believe actually is little pieces of metal, but when it shines from the light, it just makes it glare and glow and glimmer, kind of like a sprinkling of diamond dust in there. And this has that type of a paint job. So a big thumbs up on that look there. I would like to see more colors and maybe they will have that in the future. On a quick side note, it still does come in the black, but I believe the red was probably the most uh, popular or at least uh, the one that everybody wanted and was looking forward to. Another difference in the design is the base of this here. Whereas this has kind of a wider base with feet that kind of moved away from the base plate that the Triton, uh, actually all of the Golden Ear Triton speakers have. So I think the base plate here uh, doubles as a nice unique look, but it also has a decoupling effect from the ground. Okay, so that's about all of that for the outside of it. Now speaking in terms of the inner cabinet structure and a little bit more depth on the speaker design itself, you can go on the website and the new revamped Golden Ear website, which I really enjoy and I like, um, speaks uh, a lot more in depth about the internal circuitry here of the T66. So I'd recommend going and checking that out. Now, not to mention the upgrade in the website, I do really like that for the power wattage of all the powered speakers that Golden Air has. It now shows on the website the RMS wattage and the peak wattage. So that was something that was not there before, uh, whereas the Triton 1.Rs were just known to have 1500 watt powered amplifiers to it. However, when you break it down, and um, AudioQuest probably revamped their site, which I think is more informational, and it gives it a little bit more of a reality when you're gonna compare speakers. They have the Triton 1.Rs rated at 750 watts RMS, 1500 peak. So when you put just a thousand watt amplifier in there, the average person is gonna assume, okay, it's just gonna push a thousand watts constantly. And that's not the case there. It's the RMS that you wanna pay a little bit more attention to. And the T66 are rated at 500 watts RMS and a thousand watts peak. So little less um, in the power push there of the amplification, uh, but we're gonna test it out and check it out to see how it goes, to see whether it is a formidable component or formidable opponent to the Triton 1.Rs. So I'm gonna listen to some tracks. I'm gonna play some tracks for you guys here. They're gonna be royalty free, um, not the greatest, greatest quality of um, recordings but they do sound really good here and just a quick um, informative message here for you guys I use uh, royalty free music from a company called audio.com audio spelled with two eyes and I pay for the lifetime membership a couple of years back they offered a lifetime membership for 300 bucks and you could get uh, access to their entire library for life any new music that comes out as well to be able to use or listen to or you know add into any type of video that you want totally royalty free so you don't get any copyright strikes or blocks on uh, any platform and that's the music i use now the reason i bring that up is because a lot of people have asked me in my videos hey who is this artist or what song is that so there's a quick little plug if you guys want to go and check them out i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that just letting people know you can go to that website i do believe they have like a monthly membership, kind of like a Spotify thing. So you can just sign up for that if it's just music that you're interested in too. They got a lot of great new upcoming artists, indie artists, all types of genres of music. And I always like finding out about new music and new artists because there's a lot of great, of them, uh, great ones out there that we don't always get a chance to hear. This website makes that available too. So once I've played some music and I play some of those tracks, then I'll just come back up and wrap up with a little bit of my final thoughts. Quick disclaimer here, I'm by no means a professional expert in anything. 
Uh, I'm not using any test equipment. The only equipment I'm using right here is my ears and my room. I'm gonna use the same setup for both speakers here, um, which is my Parasound P6 preamplifier and my Parasound JC1's uh, two monoblock amps. They're rated at 400 watts each. That's what I'm gonna use here. And for my music source, I'm just gonna use my um, MacBook Pro. Got that connected to my P6. Not the greatest, best source, but it's gonna be good enough for uh, what I need to do here. Being that I only have these for a couple of days, so I wanna try to get as much feel and um, listening to them as much as possible without having to constantly change out discs, CDs, stuff like that. Um, I got easy access to everything on my laptop. So I will do that and I will be back with you guys in a few minutes. Actually, well, maybe a few hours. Anyway, for the video though, a couple of seconds. I'll be right back. And we are back. So there you guys have it. A little bit of taste of some of the music and songs here. Now I'm just gonna kind of close this out with a little bit more of my final thoughts here. Uh, one, I will say that this had great sound, great tonality, um, pitch was good, bass and depth was good, and very, very neutral speaker. I believe it's rated at about uh, 91 dB, so not a hard speaker to push. Uh, so I knew the capabilities of my JC1 um, amplifiers were going to do, were going to be more than what's needed uh, for these bad boys to sing the way they did. And they sounded great, exquisite. Definitely a step up from the Triton 2 Plus, because again, that's a little bit more along the lines of where the speaker design is with. So again, very neutral good tones, good sound. However, I don't, feel, uh, I don't feel it really disappeared in the room the way the Triton 1Rs did. Now, when I played the songs and tracks on my Triton 1Rs, that sounds still a little bit more cascading, a little sharper, a little bit cleaner. So that tells me the motor structure of the speakers here in the T66 are different, uh, perhaps a little bit more upgraded for a more neutral sound. So it did sound more neutral than the one R's, uh, but those were a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner. Some people like that. And I believe that to be just the folded ribbon tweeter that it has there. Um, the cascading sound. The Triton one R's kind of disappeared in my room a lot more and a lot easier than the T66, which is not anything to be unexpected. It is a bigger speaker and it has a bigger design. You know, the cost is more too. Originally when it first came out, I believe these are running at $3,600 a speaker. So 7,200 for a pair of the T66. And a lot of that has to do with the mesh grill here and uh, the new paint design here and the finish and the internal development. So I know on the inside of this, they did a lot more uh, bracing and so that way it would reduce the cabinet resonance. So again, meaning not so much uh, vibration going in, that's gonna project sound out. So they upped that in terms of the inner structure of the cabinet, which I honestly do think made a difference because to my shock and awe, even though it was only rated at 500 watts, 1000 watts peak, 
I think the base here of the T66 was better than the Triton 1R. I was kind of shocked from that. Uh, but a nice welcome shock, uh, to say the least, because you do want to know if they're going to upgrade something. Don't just make it cost more. Let's give more to it as well, right? So you're going to get something that you pay for. And so the base section of the T66 on the songs that I listen to seemed to be a little more punchier and heavier. And I was quite shocked. So what I actually did a little bit of reading and just listened to some more music where I found was, I believe this has better mid bass. And that's what gave it more, more fuller depth on the sound of the bass. As far as like impact and punchiness, it was around the same, around the same. However, it was a little bit heavier. I could feel a little bit more kind of vibrating up from the ground through my feet. Okay, so overall design, I would rate these speakers out of 10, a good eight out of 10. These are a fantastic speaker. Now, let's talk about the price here. Let's get into that uh, specific portion of what is, is it good, is it a good replacement for the 1.R? If I have the 1.Rs, should I trade up to the T66? Well, that is gonna be very subjective. I would say if you have the extra money and you can totally completely afford it because I believe even if you trade those in or you're going to sell them on the um, on, uh, audio gone or eBay or something like that on a resale market, if you're going to sell them there, they're going for around 3,500 to 4,000. So let's say at the very most you got them for four grand. You know, somebody bought your Triton 1.Rs for four grand. These are 7,200. So that's still going to be roughly around 3,200 to 3,500 because of the tax and shipping. That's still going to be a $3,000 plus upgrade to move from that to this speaker. And the bottom line is, is it worth it for you? So for me, I'm going to say no, not at the moment. Um, because again, I did like a little bit more cascading sound. The bass was better here. It did have a little bit more punch, as I said, but nothing that you couldn't change or fix by just adding a subwoofer into your mix here. Um, so that would just really fill in the gaps of maybe a little bit lacking bass per speaker here. If you have the Triton 3s and you wanted to upgrade and maybe there's no more Triton 1.Rs anywhere, the next upgrade would be going to, uh, I'm sorry, not the, just the Triton 3s, the Triton 3 Plus <laughs> or even the Triton 2 Plus. This is an upgrade from the Triton 2 Plus and you want to upgrade and go from there to, like I said, you're not able to find the Triton 1.Rs anymore. You know, they're kind of selling those really cheap right now and getting getting rid of them, I think, to make room for this new line that's coming in because this is the first one. If you read on the website, it says this is the first of the new T series. So I'm assuming they're going to have some more T type of speakers coming out. I'm going to guess maybe a T88, something a little bit bigger here. Um, who knows though? But um, I would say if you're going to go from a three plus or two plus and you're, you're not able to find a Triton 1.R anywhere, then yes, then go to this here. That would be the next logical one. Now, I did not compare these to my reference yet because I don't think they're gonna be able to compare with the reference. The reference is just a much bigger, magnificent design speaker. Um, although I might do it and save that for another video. Uh, but again, the T66, if this would be your first introduction into Golden Ear, certainly a Golden Ear quality level speaker. Finish is great, sound is immaculate, very neutral, bass is nice, deep, and punchy, and a very well designed cabinet. Solid here. You might get a little echo on the mic here, but this is a quite solid design here, and nice little mesh screen here. This gives it a very, very unique speaker. And yeah, overall, again, 
eight out of 10 speaker. But for upgrade for me, uh, I would wait. But again, if you have the money and you wanna just change it and go to do something different, then yeah, this would be a fantastic upgrade. If you're not gonna upgrade to the reference or if you just wanna add something else into your collection, this would be it here. Uh, again, I've only had it for a little while, a couple of days here. I wish I could live with it a little bit longer and I would really uh, put the metal to the test on this thing here and run it through the gambit and do tonality tests, do some sweeps and waves on it. But unfortunately, I don't have the time for that. So I just wanted to come to you guys here with my quick little overview of the Triton T66 speaker. So thumbs up here. It is a great speaker. You couldn't go wrong with it. And if you're looking for something new to upgrade to, consider this one being your next speaker.